So welcome to the first bootstrap tutorial and in this series we're going to be looking at creating a responsive site using this, the bootstrap CSS framework. Now what this framework allows us to do is create uh, responsive web pages that will kind of expand as the screen resolution changes. So let me show you an example here of the bootstrap site. So if we look at it at the standard 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution it looks really nice everything's fitting properly and nothing kind of seems like really small down the middle if that makes sense uh, and if we drag it in you see it sort of resizes itself so there you've got like a portrait tablet and then you've got mobile and the navigation all sort of adjusts itself to fit properly um, on a phone so this is how powerful bootstrap is and we will barely have to do any kind of CSS as this comes with sort of everything including um, things like built-in typography and everything so everything's already styled for us, labels uh, navigation bars already styled for us uh, even things like thumbnails and stuff and progress bars so yeah uh, alerts, so warnings and things everything is pretty much already styled for us so we barely have to do any CSS, uh, any CSS ourselves except for some minor adjustments so what you want to do is head over to this URL, uh, link in the description of course, and just hit the big download bootstrap button. And that download is a really small file. Um, I have nine in brackets as that's how many times I've attempted to record this video. So just open it up and copy and paste all three folders uh, into the directory where you're going to want to uh, have your roots. So I'm going to have mine here, site, and paste them on here. Now first what I'm going to do before we continue is show you the site that we're actually going to be building. So here it is here. Uh, this is on the 1080p screen. Um, it's nothing all that amazing, uh, but it's pretty much to, to get you going. And then you'll be able to follow the bootstrap documentation afterwards because it is really simple, easy to understand. And I was able to learn the whole of bootstrap using this, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So this is just going to show you the basics of it. So you can see this is our home page, we've got these buttons here, uh, we've got a drop down here, uh, this is for a hosting, uh, hosting site, um, one that's 100% downtime, <laughs> um, yes yeah, so we've got a drop down here, and also if we click here, this brings up a modal, which is like a window, and it has that fading kind of transition, and I'll show you how to create tables in here that are properly styled as well. So, oh and also we've got this. Head, uh, this navi this uh, footer at the bottom, which if we were to bring it up like this and make the page smaller, you see the header and the footer always sticks to the top and bottom. Now if we brought this out here, we can resize this and it's still fitting properly. You see we get this button here now and that drops down like that. So everything's fitting properly there. And you can see when we get even smaller, our content views are going uh, vertical instead of horizontal so it's restructuring everything to fit properly and obviously we can keep going as small as we want so in this series we're going to be looking at coding out this site so I'm just going to put that on my other monitor now and the first thing we want to do is we can close the downloaded folder is we want to open up your text editor so I'm using Notepad++ I'd recommend Notepad++ or Sublime or anything like that those are all really good text editors. So just save a blank file. Uh, just save it in the location that you want to have your site in the root directory. So mine's under bootstrap site. I call it index.htm. Also, you could probably hear my computer fan uh, spinning up. It's quite hot today, so uh, they have to be quite loud. So what we're going to do here is create just sort of our normal starting HTML file. So we need to declare that this is HTML5, since Bootstrap requires HTML5 features. We're going to do just a body, sorry, body, uh, HTML, close off the HTML tag, body, close off the body tags. And then up here, we're also going to have a header, header tags, and title tags. 
and the title can just be hosting or whatever hosting site next thing we need to do is import all of the uh, bootstrap features all the bootstrap CSS and everything so this is quite simple it's just link uh, href is equal to CSS forward slash bootstrap of CSS CSS uh, and rel is equal to style sheet. Now what we're going to do is duplicate this control and D and change this one to bootstrap dash responsive. So now we've loaded in our two style sheets, uh, we can be begin styling it. But there's one more thing we also want to do, which is load in our JavaScript. Now we're going to load in our JavaScript at the bottom of the page. That way all the content will load first and our site will run uh, quite quickly. So what we want to do is just go and grab the jQuery CDN. And a CDN is just a, ho a hosted content library. Um, so I, in my case, I'm using the Google Developers one, which is like a really fast one. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Just find jQuery and you can copy and paste this snippet. And put it at the bottom, just, below the, just above the body tag. And then just duplicate that and get rid of this. And put js forward slash bootstrap dot js. And that will include bootstrap. Now one thing I've noticed is when you're running this locally, this slash slash here won't work properly, so we need to put HTTP colon uh, slash slash like that. So now when we run this in Chrome, uh, there's our, our page, it's obviously just blank at the moment. One more thing we want to create is a CSS file for all of our adjustments. So just save a blank one again in CSS, and we'll call this um, style CSS and our index file we want to just reference this. Okay so that's all done. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll be looking at creating our navigation bar and making it responsive. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.